we gonna try to work this black girl magic. Good morning. I just got my hair done last night. Can't you tell? So this is before this big ass part. This is not my work. You know it's not my work because I don't part my hair like this. And I don't have shit be all bumpy and stuff. And I cut. I'm trying to make it work. Huh? Huh? It's still way too much freaking hair. Oh my gosh. It's a nice color. It's a 1B27. <sighs> I just feel like when you're done getting your hair did, it's supposed to make you want to hurry up and finish sleeping through the night and being so excited to wake up in the morning because you just want to see your new hairstyle on your face and you want to play around with it and try on different outfits with your new do. And this does not make me feel like that. This makes me feel like taking it out right now. So this is my journey trying to get my hair done in China. I got it done by Africans, not by Chinese. Either way, it still sucks. I don't like it. It's huge. My scalp hurts. I think the majority of my hair was ripped out of my head. It is the morning after my my nightmare of um, a hairdo, but um, I made it work. For now, I'm telling you, the color is nice. I like this color. And what I did was I put some of the actual one, where is it, back here? I think it was this side. Yeah, you see that? So when I have it down and, and combed, it looks really nice, actually. But um, I'm not going to ever have this down. You know what? I'm making it work because I'm going to go to the supermarket and find some curling rods. And I'm going to try my best best to work my black girl magic because the lord knows that this needs black girl magic hey today is on day aka hair day so i decided to go over to walmart and get my cheap little rollers and what i'm doing is i'm going to do my own little they call it the make and bounce but since i'm in beijing we're gonna call it beijing bounce just like how I bounced up out that some on and bounced up into Walmart to get me my little bangs. We gonna bounce our way right around Beijing. So this is gonna be more like a hair tutorial. And after seeing some responses on Snapchat, getting some responses from my supporters that usually support every hairstyle I do, I did not have a lot of support on this one. They offered the advice to just put some curls in it. So we gonna try to work this black girl magic. If you're not here for the hair tutorial, you may skip to the end. <laughs> so what I've got going on here is Kinecolon hair. This is a 1B27. Way too much of it is crocheted in my head. You'll need a paddle brush and or comb, boiling hot water, a towel, rollers, bobby pins, and maybe clips to section off your hair, or you can use a scrunchie. So since I have so much hair crocheted in my head, the objective is to go with curly hair because then hopefully it will take away the effect of how much hair is actually in my damn head. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and try to use some uh, hot water, boiling hot water, because it's Kinecolon hair and boiling hot water helps to set Kinecolon hair in any shape slash style that you wish to achieve. Make sure you just squeeze all that water out so that way it doesn't drop and burn on your skin because uh, that's no fun. So just to give you a little preview of which kind of curl bounce I'm trying to go for and what the Jamaican bounce is for my Beijing bounce. This is my child one. I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. Yes. So I'm going to do the whole thing like this. And most likely I'm going to wind up shaping it. Maybe a asymmetrical bob or something. I don't know. We'll see. This poor little lady back in here again, seeing you with another hairstyle. She's probably like, what in the world is this girl doing in here? <laughs> One thing about me is that I am unapologetically black.
and I'm going to do my hair wherever and however I want to. I don't care who's around. So she's going to learn today. She's going to learn. All of her curiosities will be answered today. Do you like it? <laughs> oh, she, she is. with her I had to take out my translator because I only know like five statements and how to count to a hundred so <laughs> but um she said I look very athletic because my hair you know after dipping a good amount of hair that is set in the rollers in the boiling hot water, I went ahead and used a blow dryer and I made sure that it's not with heat. So it's just blowing cold air because I think this one helps to dry the hair and two also helps to set the style. This roller unfortunately is a little bit bigger than all the others so that will differ depending on the brand of rollers you get. This is a bigger one. The pink ones are the smaller ones so it gave me this look and this look which I like more. If the rollers you have have little teeth on them, do not try to pull the roller out of the hair. Instead, unravel it because especially with Kanekalon hair, it can mess up the shape and make it so that it's harder to hold and it'll kind of get a little tangly, so don't do that fam. direction you would twist it when you're wrapping it with the roller or flex your off and as you go it naturally twists as well see that so you get over here that's how it's going to give you that nice Scrunch the hair to squeeze excess water. I should be in a pantoo condition. Finally, cut and shape. Make sure you cut at an angle, otherwise if you just cut straight across, it looks really blunt and it doesn't look too great. You can also take the scissors and shear the hair or take a pair of shears and do that way too. Bossy, Bossy, Godfather, man a OG. Man a half humble, man a bossy. Fling a rag a rhythm the like end of my tutorial, I was able to take a jacked up hairstyle and make it look somewhat acceptable, yeah? If you have any questions, feel free to leave me comments down below. So I definitely fixed my hair. I have no filter on right now. I'm walking down the street trying to catch dinner before it's over. Feeling like a damn mug. Bounce. What's up, Beijing? Bounce, bounce. What's up, Beijing? Bounce, bounce.